What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video for today's video. It's going to be a rad movie review for Salem's Lot, the 2024 remake. Yes, we have a new Salem's Lot. It's currently streaming on HBO Max. That's where you can watch this film. And yesterday you're going to hear my positives, my negatives, and the rating. And then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. <laughs> So sorry there's been a lack of content over the last couple days. I actually caught like some kind of bug and I was like congested, sinus, just like really congested over the last couple days and I kind of took a break, you know, and I was already working still so I kind of just was like chilling besides that, you know, just watching movies and didn't really want to film anything. But today I know I promised you guys we're covering, you know, vampires, werewolves, Frankenstein, all kinds of universal monster movie stuff, but I wanted to also cover recent and more modern day stuff too. And Salem's Lot is a Stephen King. King novel and this is a remake the film that we're talking about today and yes it's based on also this one is a remake of a miniseries that came out in the 70s and it has vampires in it so that's why I wanted to talk about this because vampires are part of the Universal Monster Trilogy you know Dracula started that back in the day you know so today we're going to talk about this remake to start this off too before we get down into the dirty nitty gritty of talking about this film I must talk about my history with Salem's Lot, the miniseries. I'm not that big a fan of the miniseries at all. I love Toby Hooper, and I love the stuff that he does, and there's some cool things about that Salem's Lot miniseries that I do enjoy, but I've always, I've never really been connected to that film. You know, I've always been more of a John Carpenter's Vampires or a Lost Boys kind of guy. That's more my jam when it comes to vampire films. So Salem's Lot is not top tier anywhere up here, so... This remake really didn't do much, couldn't do anything to really offend me as a fan because, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of that original one. So let's just kind of dive into the remake right now. The modern telling is that I enjoyed what I love about this film the most is actually the characters. I rewatched the original one recently as well, and I watched the remake and. I like the Ben character better in this one, Ben Mears, who's played by Lewis Pullman. Pullman. I think he's better. I really do like him better in this film. I like Mackenzie Le Lay who in this one. She plays Susan. I love her character. I even like the character who plays Mark. You know what I mean? The actor who plays Mark. So for me, a lot of the characters in this one, mainly the main cast of characters, are improvements on all of the original ones for me. So that's one reason why I gravitate towards this one. Another reason I want to discuss why I think this one is more for me is that I am one of those people that think that original one's a little bit too long, and I just find it to be more melodramatic, more like a soap opera. And yes, it was billed and sold and booked as a miniseries, so that's the way it kind of has that nature to it, the way it plays on and the storyline beats and stuff like that. So this one is more of a cinema experience. It's tailored to movie fans because that's the way it's designed. And like I said, the way it's packaged, it's a more condensed version of the story and it fits me as a fan because I'm not that big a fan of this story so when you kind of shorten it you package it with better characters a cinema look add to that I like like I said the cinematography the third act and the way some of the setup scenes are for like we have the drive-in movie theater that's another setting that I enjoy that is nowhere in that original version so this one just has some setups some settings scenes and you know ways that they try to create atmosphere through the way it looks that I enjoy more in this one. Add to that, I think there's some creative camera work and really creative cinematography in this one, like for real. This one has some style to it, and I like the flair and like the packaging of a cinema movie. Like this could have been in a movie theater, and I, it would have held up. I would have went to the theater and seen this, and I would have probably enjoyed it even more just because it was on the big screen. I did watch this at home, you know, on the small screen because it's streaming on Max. But like I said, the way it's packaged, the way it's designed, it's designed to be on a theater screen, and I think it would have done very well. And like I said, the way that the third act goes and the pacing of this film and the way that the characters are, I find this one to be a more digestible Salem's Lot story for me. Yes, there are some things that they messed up or some things they missed out on, so let's talk about some mixed and negatives right here because like I said, this isn't a perfect film. It's just definitely in the future. I'm telling you right now, 
I can see myself rewatching this remake more than the original. I know that might be blasphemy, but like I said, this is coming from someone who's not a huge fan of that original one. I've seen Salem's Lot after watching it this year again. That's the fifth time I've seen that miniseries, the Toby Hooper one. So it's like I said, it's not something that pulls me back into it. This is one that I can see doing that. So let's get into the mixed in negatives and starting with right off the bat is that it's kind of funny that I actually wish this was a little bit longer. I feel like there's some sequences and some scenes that you feel like are cut out and obviously because that original miniseries is over three hours long and this is an adaptation of a Stephen King book. So usually Stephen King does a lot of backstory and his characters are very rich. So in terms of that, it does feel like there's stuff missing from this film and there's stuff cut out that I would have much rather, I would have enjoyed more if they had that stuff in here. So it's kind of like, you know, it's one of those interesting things is that I think this film could have been probably two hours and 20 minutes. I want to say they could have pushed it about 15 to 20 minutes more and they could have fleshed out some more stuff and I would have been fine with it because I was really enjoying this a lot more than I expected to be because I, I expected to go into this movie and come here on this channel right now and talk to you guys and be like, this is trash. Don't even give this a shot. But for me, like I said, I would watch this film and rewatch it. One other negative is that or there are some characters that I did dislike more than that original one. Like one character in particular is Stryker is really bad in this film he's not really memorable or that interesting at all and like i don't want to spoil what ends up happening and all that stuff but like I said striker in this version of the salem's lot story i did not really enjoy so that's one that you could take it or leave it because like i said that's a character they they improved some characters mainly the main characters in the main cast for me but there's also some side characters you know mainly striker and there's a couple other ones like mike Mike, I don't think is as good in this one. That's another character. And I know I'm doing a lot of comparing, but for me, it's, it's kind of hard, like I said, because this the, I've only seen the original and this one. I've never seen, I believe there's a Rob Lowe remake as well that they did in the early 2000s. I haven't seen that version. I've only seen this one and that original Salem's Lot. And one other negative for me, that major, major one, is the music. The score, the music in here is almost non-existent in terms of the atmosphere, what they're trying to build with that. The cinematography and the color of the film and the way it looks and it's shot, they build an atmosphere with that, but what could have took this to another level and would have made this one of my favorite vampire films probably of all time is if they had a really good score. If they had an awesome score and music because that first original miniseries that's one key thing that like really sticks with me and probably my main positive with that miniseries that toby hooper did is the atmospheric score that they have for that miniseries it is fantastic but like i said in this one it's really like non-existent there is a score but i don't really feel it you know what i mean it doesn't have a punch to it but in terms of the characters there are huge improvements the third act i really enjoyed the third act a lot more in this one but like I said, there could have been more of this movie. I would have wanted 20 more minutes, and I think this film, for me, 20 more minutes and a really good score, and like I said, that would have elevated this movie into being one of my favorite vampire films of all time, and I'm not lying to you. Thanks for sticking around with me all for this review of Salem's Lot, the remake. I know I kind of rambled on and we discussed a lot. It was kind of almost a compar comparison video, too. I might have that in a thumbnail. It was kind of a review, but also a comparison to that original one. Because, like I said, I watched just recently watched both of them. So they're kind of both floating around right here in my mind and everything. But in terms of a rad rating for this bad boy, Salem's Lot, the remake, is going to get a 7.5 out of 10 and when it comes to a rating that's a very high rating for me because the original Salem's Lot is just kind of an average movie for me or average thing when it comes to rewatch value and watching that one this is one over the next 10 years I could see myself rewatching this one more like I said I had fun with these characters I can definitely dive into this a little bit more and like I said just 20 more minutes maybe there'll be some more uncut extended version of this film and I would really enjoy that and I can't way to own this on physical because this is a movie that's good enough that I, I would own it on physical media I would buy it but please let me know down below in the comments section what you think of Salem's Lot the remake if you've seen this one and if not have you seen the original are you a big fan of the original are you does that make you hesitant to watch this film I would love to discuss with you but please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified 
anytime I drop a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.